In the book of Revelation, chapter 6, the four horsemen written of in the first four seals have an obvious twofold meaning. It has to do not only with the global implementation of the four hidden dynasties of education, economics, politics, and religion, but also the appearance of Satan as Antichrist at the sixth seal, the sixth trumpet, and the sixth vial, which is when the first four seals, trumpets, and vials go into their ultimate spiritual meaning. That is to say, spiritual death when that third or slain spirit Spiritually, as you can read of in Revelation chapter 9, spiritual famine to the utmost extreme, spiritual war, and Satan will have appeared in his role of Antichrist, the rider of the white horse in the first seal. In the build-up to the five-month-long hour of temptation, the first four seals written of in Revelation chapter 6 begin with the fourth seal and the hidden dynasty of education, which lines up with the first trumpet in the first vial. So 411, a number synonymous with information, but here it's false information and the brainwashing that causes those who don't bother to study God's word for themselves to be deceived. Now, and especially during the five-month-long hour of temptation. So, Revelation chapter 6 and verse 7. And when he had opened the fourth seal, Christ being the only one who can open your understanding to the scriptures, I heard the voice of the fourth beast, the fourth living creature, say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, that's chloros in the Greek, translated as green in the first trumpet, and his name that sat on him was Death, one of Satan's names, and hell followed with him. In the build-up, Satan's evil spirit, as well as the evil spirits of his fallen angels, spreading deception throughout the world, setting people up to be killed spiritually whenever Satan appears as the false Christ. And power was given them over the fourth part of the earth, this means the entire globe, four is the number of earth, to kill with sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beasts of the earth. The four hidden dynasties in the build up to 666 and then from that point forward spiritual death famine and war with satan that rider of the white horse in the first seal appearing as antichrist at that time again four is the number of earth and at 666 satan's global religious system comes into being the beginning of the globalization of the four hidden dynasties and the build up to that point began in 1830 that's when the first trumpet began to sound but it's not until all six trumpets of deception are sounding at the same time in the middle of that hour of temptation that the seals, trumpets, and vials go into their ultimate spiritual meaning. That's when that third are slain spiritually by the deception, which you can read of in the first four trumpets, and that doesn't happen until all six trumpets are sounding, and the type you'll find in Daniel chapter 3. The first vial was poured out in 1830 when the rapture deception came into the world. The main reason most Christians will receive the mark of the beast in their forehead, which is the deception, but that doesn't happen until the first six vials have been poured out when Satan appears as the instead of Christ, which is what Antichrist means. So 411 began in 1830, the false information. 322 began in 1913, the hidden dynasty of economics, the Federal Reserve System coming into being at that time. Think global implementation with these. The Federal Reserve System runs the world economically through the dollar, the dominant global currency. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast, the third living creature say, come and see. And I beheld and lo a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand, and I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts, the four living creatures say, a measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, a denarius in the Greek, that is to say a day's wage, this having to do with inflation as far as economics are concerned, and that's controlled by the Federal Reserve System, but spiritually we're talking about the famine for hearing the word of the Lord. That you can read of in Amos chapter 8, where you can also read of the balances of deceit, the balances of deception, the famine and for hearing God's truth, the bread of life becoming worse than ever before when Satan appears as Antichrist and floods the world with his deception. But see thou hurt not the oil and the wine, and remember the compassion of the good Samaritan who bound up the wounds of the injured man pouring in oil and wine, the compassion of God's elect who hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord our God, receiving God's blessings now and during the hour of temptation, God takes care of his own and his election won't be affected by the famine for hearing God's word. The second seal lines up with the third trumpet and the third vial, 233, and the globalization of the hidden dynasty of politics in 1945 with the United Nations. Notice the symbol of the UN is two olive branches surrounding a
a map of the world split into 33 sections, 233, the hidden dynasty of politics. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, the second living creature, come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword, the opposite of the sword of the Lord, which is God's word that brings us peace of mind. This sword does just the opposite, because it's not the sword of truth, but rather the sword of deception. And every war is started with deception, in case you haven't noticed. Wars and rumors of wars continuing right along until the hour of temptation. Whenever they cry peace and safety, that happens after the great horn of the he-goat written of in Daniel chapter 8 is broken, which is the United Nations, in my opinion. The current so-called global order has to be pushed aside to make room for the new world order, which comes into being at the woe of the fifth trumpet, and the UN will provide the skeletal structure for the actual one world political system. At the woe of the fifth trumpet, when Satan and his angels are cast from heaven unto the earth and the one world political system emerges, then it receives a deadly wound by a sword. Then at the woe of the sixth trumpet, Satan appears as Antichrist, and by peace shall he destroy many, spiritually speaking, and that you can read of in Daniel chapter 8 as well. Meanwhile, the spiritual war continues with all six trumpets of deception sounding at the same time. Again, the type you'll find in Daniel chapter 3. When all six trumpets of deception are sounding, that's when the one world political system becomes a one world religious system whenever Satan appears as the false Christ, which brings us to the first seal, which lines up with the fourth trumpet and the fourth vial. One, four, four, and the hidden dynasty of religion, beginning globally in 1948, in my opinion. And I saw when the Lamb, Christ Jesus, the only one who can open your mind to the truth, open one of the seals. And I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts, one of the four living creatures you can read of in Revelation chapters 4 and 5, saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, that's toxon in the Greek, which means as the simplest fabric, a cheap fabric imitation of the rider of the white horse in Revelation chapter 19, the true Christ who doesn't return until the seventh trumpet. This rider of this white horse in the first seal is the false Christ, Satan in his role of Antichrist, when he appears in Jerusalem at the sixth trumpet. So what happened in 1948 set the stage for Satan to appear as Antichrist in Jerusalem at 666 and went forth conquering the spirit of Antichrist, that is to say, beginning in 1948 when this final generation began, the spirit of Antichrist that you can read of in the first epistle of John went forth conquering and to conquer. And that's at the sixth trumpet when Satan appears as Antichrist and the four horsemen take on their ultimate spiritual meaning. The true Christ won't return until the seventh trumpet and that's when Satan's role of Antichrist and his one world system are destroyed forever and ever. In other words, the four horsemen of the apocalypse are destroyed at the seventh trumpet when the true Christ returns. And at that same time, all are changed into spiritual bodies and Satan himself is locked up in the bottomless pit until the thousand years are finished. Then he's released and whoever follows him then is blotted out in the lake of fire, which is the second death. Blotted out of existence forever and ever, but not before Satan himself is turned to ashes from within as promised in Ezekiel chapter 28. Everyone else goes into the eternity, the third world age. <laughs>